Now your next exercise is your seated band row. It's gonna work your biceps, the front of your upper arms, as well as your all of your back muscles, your upper, middle, and lower back, along with a bit of your shoulders. To do this exercise, you're gonna affix your tubing around a leg that can support it, your wrists are gonna be facing each other, and you're gonna pull your wrists to the outside of the rib cage. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together while keeping your elbows down and your shoulders relaxed. If you wanna take a back view, you can see that Pat's elbows are essentially rubbing the outside of his rib cage. His shoulders are relaxed. You can also see that he's not curling his wrist forward. He's keeping his wrist straight. Common errors to avoid. The number one error when the weight or tubing is too heavy is yanking. So as you can see, Pat now is losing his neutral spine. His elbows are fanning out. He's using his lower back to pull the weight and he's putting unnecessary stress on his spine. The side view, you can see that Pat is using his lower back to roll forward. He's rounding his shoulders forward and then he's leaning back with his lower back and dropping his chin in order to do this exercise. Finally, you can see that he's turning his wrists in. This is something that you wanna avoid because it prevents you from being able to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Final good example, just so you can see it, you want your chest up, you want your wrists facing each other, you wanna pull your wrists to the outside of the rib cage while keeping your shoulders relaxed and breathing. Exhaling as you pull back, inhaling as your arms come forward, and then you have a good seated row.